Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Thanks so much for subscribing, guys. I gotta say, you guys are doing great. We're getting to that target 70,000 subscribers by March 31st. If you aren't subscribed, subscribe now. You will be eligible to win a Ledger Nano S or X. I'm giving two away on April 1st. And like the video too, guys. Uh, I mean, if you like the video, it is a great free way to support the channel. I wanted to move on though with regards to uh, the price of XRP and uh, you know chart patterns where I'm seeing some similarities from back in the last bull run to now. So we're gonna analyze that in a sec. Uh, of course, we gotta look at the entire crypto space to understand where the crypto market is going. So I saw this from the Daily Hodel veteran trader who nailed Bitcoin crash updates price forecast and uh, this coming from Peter Brandt now I know he's uh, bearish on XRP. He tends to pander to his Bitcoin uh, following but nevertheless I do think uh, he is quite insightful when it comes to uh, price analysis and uh, chart patterns. So a widely followed veteran trader who's known in the crypto space for calling Bitcoin's big crash back in January 2018 is unveiling the key fundamental driver that will fuel Bitcoin's bull market. He says that Bitcoin Bitcoin, along with other assets, will continue to thrive in bull territory in face of the US dollar debasement. So this is the first time, at least the first time I've heard of Peter Brandt specifically talking about uh, Bitcoin rallying because the US dollar is floundering. He says the devaluation of the purchasing power of the US dollar has only just begun. This is why Bitcoin, real estate, US equities, and commodities will continue to trend higher when expressed in USD fiat terms. Uh, Brandt's latest analysis comes after the U.S. Senate passed President Biden's beer flu stimulus package to the tune of $1.9 trillion. Bitcoin bull Anthony Pompliano says the relief package will have a massive impact on the value of the U.S. dollar and Bitcoin. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard of this. Just the other day, I talked about the stimulus package and uh, how people, at least people in the crypto space, are uh, going to take that check and put it directly into cryptocurrency. Has nothing to do with the floundering U.S. dollar, but just this idea of having extra money on the side uh, you know, especially if you are the type of person who is still doing odd jobs here and there, uh, maybe finding another way uh, to generate a little bit of income and uh, the government gives you a check. Well, that money, found money to some people, put it directly into cryptocurrency and that, uh, and we've seen that in the past, right, where the government gives out stimulus checks and some people decide to pump it right into crypto. So here's a quote here, I think it's from Pompliano, thinking the dollar is stable in purchasing power terms is completely insane. 40% of all dollars in circulation will be created in 12 months after this 1.9 trillion. Purchasing power is drastically down. Compare dollars to stocks, real estate, goods, services, Bitcoin, etc. The US Senate just agreed to reiterate to the world why Bitcoin is important and valuable. Pardon me, that was a Peter Brandt quote. And so we've seen Bitcoin has been on a bit of a trajectory upward. Let's bring up Bitcoin here real quickly here on the daily. Uh, and we can see, whoops, we can see Bitcoin, you know, still very, very healthy in the grand scheme of things, only retraced roughly 26% before making its way back up. Now it's only down about 14% off its all time high. So we did see that rebound. We did see it come down here back in uh, January. It did make new highs. And uh, this correction looks to me so far was even less than this correction. So, um, I mean, there is still room for Bitcoin to go lower. Of course, we don't know where that trend is going 100%, but it is still looking very healthy. And, uh, you know, traders in the space also mentioning the same. I also saw this, guys, uh, from BNN Bloomberg, Norwegian oil billionaire joins the bet on Bitcoin. So oil billionaire Shell Inge Rook, uh, has come out strongly in favor of Bitcoin as he bets the cryptocurrency will prove the best defense against the disruption facing the financial industry and central banking. Somebody else who realizes that the financial system is in trouble and uh, taking a portion of his revenue and putting it back into Bitcoin. So here's a quote, uh, Bitcoin may still go to zero, but it can also become the core of a new monetary architecture, Roke wrote in a uh, shareholder letter on CT's website. Um, he says it's not inconceivable that one Bitcoin could one day be worth millions of dollars. People who know the most about Bitcoin believe its future success is nearly inevitable. For now, Rook's investment will be small and CTs will start with just 500 million kroner, which is about uh, $58 million in capital. The firm plans to keep all its liquid investable assets in the cryptocurrency. So now oil billionaire Shell Ing Rook, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, also seeing the writing on the wall, uh, investing some of his company's assets into Bitcoin. We've seen this, guys, from Elon Musk and other big corporations hedging against 
against the US dollar. Meanwhile, you know, a lot of these guys are, um, you know, big climate proponents. And, uh, you know, John Deaton also brings up an interesting point here. I know some say I shouldn't be harsh on Hester Peirce. I've said that I wish she had more influence, but this seems like a sick joke to me. The SEC is concerned with climate issues, but gives clarity to BTC and ETH, and not only sues Ripple, but claims present day XRP is a security. Retweeting out Hester Peirce here, uh, what does all this SEC talk about climate change mean? Maybe not much. I don't want to really get into that too much, but I think he brings up a good point here. Now, I did a video just yesterday talking about the possible deep ties the government has with Ripple and XRP. I don't know if you guys saw that video uh, just discussing the IP addresses that uh, registered some domain names way back even before Bitcoin was released. And they were crypto related domain names that had to do specifically with Ripple and Bitcoin, guys. I'll link that video up here if you guys didn't catch that. And yeah, we know climate change is a big issue, yet we're seeing the SEC continue on its trajectory suing Ripple. And so there's still a big question mark that looms overhead. But guys, right now we're in a spec market, and so we got to look at the speculative aspect of it all. I saw this from Stephanie Eve here on Twitter, and uh, you know I'm seeing a lot of these types of charts here. XRP coiling up, as you can see here, this is it on the hourly, and uh, I'm going to get into this a little more. So let's bring up XRP here. On the hourly, guys, you can see uh, as of the recording of this video, XRP, actually, I'm sorry, this is the daily, uh, but you can see XRP has been trending up over the last few days. Let me put it on the hourly uh, just to give you guys a sense of where we were last last night. Now, a few hours ago, XRP did indeed hit this top up here. Okay, right back up to 49 cents, give or take, trying to push past uh, this level here. And if I zoom out here, guys, I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Let me throw a Fibonacci here, XRP on the hourly. Okay, right back from the beginning of that trend all the way down to the bottom. And uh, XRP trying to push up, trying to push up, really trying to hit that 0.328 level here on the Fibonacci, if you guys can see that. Okay, really trying to push up to get to that level, uh, but obviously didn't make it last night. Okay, here's the level I'm talking about here. We saw it back on March 4th. Try to get up to that level. Of course, sellers keep pushing it back down. Then again, last night we saw a big push for that. Again, this is XRP on the hourly, uh, and we couldn't get up to that level, and now we're being pushed back down. Right now, XRP uh, is trading at around point. 0.468 as of the recording of this video. Okay, this level here would denote the uh, roughly 50 cent level. We've seen that resistance level that has been major resistance back in 2019. If I bring this chart back here on the daily, you guys can see that level here. Whoops, right in around here. Let me put a line there to show you guys right in around here. That was critical resistance. Uh, and now we can see that almost matching up with the 0.382. But what I found more interesting, guys, is this pattern here. Uh, and I know we've talked about this a little bit before on this channel. These two chart patterns here, uh, side by side. I don't know if you guys caught it, uh, but way back in 2017, before this final leg up for XRP, we saw something similar down and around here, if you guys can see, okay? So this was back in August 2017, right before the bull run took XRP to its all-time high. Let me take a fractal of this, all right? And if I take that fractal, bring it up to the all-time high here, what can we derive from this, okay? So, um, and again, you know, this pattern was not as pronounced as what we're seeing now. You guys can see it almost looks like it shrunk down a little. But what I noticed were some interesting similarities. Let me just take some liberties here, okay? And I'm going to actually extend this out a little, okay? Let's see what we get here, if I can extend this out. Actually, here, one sec. I'm going to shrink this down a little, center it here, guys, and I'm going to just extend it out just to kind of give you guys a sense of what I'm seeing here. Um, now, I just want to look at the similarities in this pattern, okay? I'm not going to use this uh, necessarily as a projection of where we could go price-wise. I'm going to take a look at something else, and we're going to do that uh, in a sec. But even if we just take this, guys, Oops, I think I actually took it up too, too much. So let me just bring it down just a little here, just to give you guys a sense of what I'm talking about here, okay? So that's a little better. Now you guys can see, okay, once I extend that out, you guys can see that pattern over top of this tends to match up quite nicely. Now, let me bring this and put it right beside here and show you what I'm seeing here. 
So boom, there it is guys, right there on the charts, just magically appeared just like that. And again, I had to extend out the fractal a little bit uh, to give it that uh, dramatic effect that we're seeing here, but uh, ultimately it is the same type of pattern that we're seeing. So of course we start up here with the number one uh, being mirrored over here, number one. We did see a move down to the two position, uh, retracing a little bit, a move down here to number two, of course, a rebound back up to number three, not reaching that high, not going as high as the one. And we saw that mirrored back in 2017 as well. I probably should start with 2017. In 2017, uh, it did go lower, okay, back down to the four position. And we're seeing that here, guys, in today's chart as well, down to the four, back up into the five sellers getting excited again, back up into the five, can't make a new high. Uh, so we go back down, retest that bottom where the four is. On today's chart, it's actually looking even better. It didn't go even as far as that bottom. Then finally back up to the seven mark, we're seeing that here in today's chart as well. This is when we had that pump group and XRP did rally uh, just up to 75 cents. I'm gonna ignore that big long wick though. We did see a retracement here back in 2017. The same thing as in 2021, that retracement down there. Then finally retesting that high at the number nine position. Okay, and today retesting that nine as well. Then coming right back down here to the 10, okay? And this is where it's gonna get really, really interesting. So let me just finish that up down here at the 10. And guys, we are in this spot here. We're coiling up. We're seeing that the Bitcoin market is booming. And in 2017, what had happened after that? Well, if I show you guys the remaining portion of this fractal pattern, of course, this is when we saw XRP make new heights and ultimately get up to this position here. Now, that looks like a total mess, right? Of course it does. Let me just get rid of all of that and get back to the meat and potatoes of what this video is about. Uh, so, we took this fractal pattern here, comparing the uh, structure to what we're seeing today. And guys, I think this is beneficial because this is going to confirm some price targets that we already have uh, taken a look at on this channel and uh, maybe on other technical analysis channels, you've noticed the same thing. If I put a Fibonacci just on uh, this structure here, okay, so not from this high all the way down to the trough, but just in terms of uh, that correction that we were seeing starting in August 2017, going all the way down, we can see that the top of the Fibonacci actually lines up with this area here. Okay, before we saw a significant retracement, XRP just kind of shot up uh, and then topped out at the 4.236. It retraced, and then from there, it still had a ways to go. And if I could give you guys a sense of what the percentage was left in XRP at that point, we're looking at approximately 300... 320, 300 and, no, 350%, no, that's wrong. Let me get that from the bottom here, oops. You get that from the bottom here, it was roughly 312%, give or take. Okay, so there was still price gains of about 312% even after this Fibonacci topped out uh, based on this particular structure. Well, let's go to today, guys, and where would that bring us now? This is the exact same structure we're looking at. If we take the Fibonacci, which we've taken many times, on this chart, bring it right down to the trough here. Make sure we get right down to the bottom here. Okay, and we've taken a look at this before, right? Retracing at the 702, coming right back down at the 0.382. Now XRP coiling up, basically ready to break out. Where would the top of the Fibonacci bring XRP at this point in time? Well, if we bring it right up here, guys, that line would ultimately bring us to right up here, $2.80, which is right around this price point up here which ultimately brings us to the last all-time high for XRP. Okay, right in around here, right at this top mark. So $2.80 would represent the top of the Fibonacci, the same kind of movement that we saw over here back in 2017. The other thing I wanted to mention is that if we do indeed go up another 300, what was it, 312% give or take, right in around there, 312, ah, okay. I can't be that precise. It's really difficult to be precise on this chart. All right, anyway, we got it up there 312%, which would bring us to this line here. And of course, price point bringing us to an XRP worth roughly just over $11. So in that, uh, you know, 10 to $13 range is what we're seeing. And of course, these numbers definitely are not going to be a mirror, a carbon copy of one another. On other charts, this could reach $13. On some charts, it might reach $10. It just depends on the exchange we're looking at. But guys, it's looking as though ultimately the targets are checking out. 
First, we're gonna see that XRP move to $2.80, and hopefully that last leg up will bring XRP anywhere between the 10 to $13 range. And so at this point in the trend, and I know guys, we can't uh, necessarily estimate the time frame uh, that it's going to take in order to get there, but uh, at this point in the trend, we were roughly, right now guys, we're roughly around here. And uh, by the time this took off, it was only about another 48 days, give or take. 48 days before we saw uh, XRP make that new all-time high. And if we bring it back here, 48 days would bring us to the end of April, April 23rd, 2021. And I know guys, I know we can't estimate time perfectly. I'm not holding my breath for any specific time frame, but this is just to give you guys an idea of where we're gonna go, when we're gonna hit the targets. The most exciting thing to me is the $2.80 mark, approximately all time high, checks out in this price model. The same with the 10 to $13 mark. So keep hodling, let's wait for Bitcoin to make a new high, alt season to kick in, and maintain focus on our XRP exit plan. That's just my opinion, but I wanna hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We need to reach 70,000, I'm giving away two ledgers a Ledger Nano S and X on April 1st, but you got to subscribe to win and like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.